that's the year. Um, at least for all of you, it's just since July, maybe five, seven months. For me, it was a whole year of lifting, of working out, of staying diligent in this course. Um, since last December, this is when I chose to um, try to make lifting um, a consistent behavior in my lifestyle. Um, and this is the result of it. I know it may not be impressive to some people and it may, may shock other people. For me, these are my results and I'm very, very I'm proud of myself and I pat myself on the back um, for whatever results that I gave. Um, in terms of any metrics, uh, I started out last December weighing in at 177. Um, and I made a contract with myself and one other person that I wanted to get down to 155. This morning, 5 a.m. after my workout, I weighed in at 148. And this is the lowest weight I've ever managed to sustainably contain and maintain um, in a healthy way without just having a crash diet or um, just putting myself through hell and back for just a short amount of time just to achieve a certain number. Um, I've been about 150 for the past month or so and so starting at this video series I was actually between 155 to 160 so I dropped I dropped another probably about five pounds of body fat within the last 12 weeks um, 12 to 16 weeks yeah I would say and this is the final result of, of one year, whole year of lifting um, like I said but the real question is did I get that six pack? And the answer, no. <laughs> it's hard. Um, it was very, very hard. I, I can say without a doubt, without regrets, uh, without any guilt, that I tried my best. Not in just terms of my training or my programming, um, but in terms of my meal, meals and my nutrition and diet, I definitely did try my best. Um, Given the situation where I was coming from a broken hand and I couldn't properly train for about four months, um, I had to make up lost progress, right? I had to make all that up and then make more progress on top of that. And so I had to get back to where I was and then make more results on top of that. And I think given that context, I did pretty well for myself. Um, I definitely learned a lot about myself this past year while lifting um, I realized how impatient of a person I am uh, my reward um, center is very very short term I like to just see things and receive those things and be satisfied very quickly um, but I had to learn for myself with fitness specifically um, I had to be very, very slow with it and be patient and methodical with it. Um, if I want it to be part of my lifestyle and make sure that it's been, it's that it's being done in a sustainable and healthy way. Um, I'll be honest, in the beginning of the year, um, I tried to do crash dieting, just do really high intensive workouts. And although results were coming out that way, I realized that those were only gonna be the short term results too. And so I had to quickly mature and um, figure out a new new way to program my lifestyle around fitness and nutrition and dieting to make sure that it's gonna be um, sustainable in the long term too. Another lesson that I learned was that lifting is hard. <laughs> it sounds so dumb and so simple, but this past year with all the training that I did, um, there were so many moments where I'm sitting under the bar, um, I'm holding a set of dumbbells and I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Why do people do this to themselves? Um, but it's, there is something maybe inherently primitive about just lifting uh, relatively heavy weight. Um, it's maybe there's also something primitive about just stimulating your, um, your physical self um, in a challenging manner um, in, in a way that you know will be beneficial in the long run. For me, um, even though it was difficult, I decided to stick with it. And what I learned for myself with that persistence is that I can really attain a goal if I set um, my mind to it. Um, I attained my weight goal, even though that wasn't the main goal of this series. Um, I 
I achieved 67% of, of this goal, of this video series. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely learned so much um, about myself that I can, I can do it. Um, if you don't know me or know me, um, throughout my whole life, I struggled with my self-image um, and my body weight and the way that I looked. Um, and I definitely got picked on for it. I got heavily um, bullied for it in the area that I grew up, um, specifically from the boys that I grew up around in my community. They were all actually very athletic. And for some reason, God put me there. <laughs> I don't know to teach me a lesson. Thanks, God. <laughs> But for me, it sucked um, to just go through that, and it didn't help, and it's, I still struggle with um, just my self-image to this day. Um, and of course, that was a driving factor into why I wanted to um, work out, and I wanted, I wanted to look better, right? And for me to think about the standard that I wanted to achieve by the end of this year, and to come so close to it, um, I know that I can do it. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional all of a sudden, but um, if you empathize with me at all or where I'm coming from, you'll understand um, that when you have a struggle, when you have a struggle, a physical struggle like me, um, it's hard. It really is hard. Um, for me at least, even though I was sticking with it, there were times where I felt like I wasn't seeing any results, and it sucked. It really, it really sucked. And then here comes one of my close friends, and he only works out for five months, and then he gets his transformation just like that at the snap of a finger. Um, well, I've been working my butt off for much longer than that, trying to um, achieve my goal and look where I'm at. And so. For me to still to come to not make it but become very very close to my goal um, it made me realize that I am I am a capable person I am a physically capable person I'm coming from a background where I literally couldn't play sports because I wasn't good enough where I told I wasn't good enough to be to become to come to a point now where I can say yeah I lift weights I feel like I'm Getting that I'm getting to a point where I can say I'm okay at it. Um, getting to a point where um, I chose a sport in basketball that I can recreationally play now. Um, I never thought I'd be at this point. Um, and I think that's why I'm so emotional just because there's so much, um, I guess, emotional uh, uh, baggage from it. Um, but Proving to myself that I can. Um, that was my biggest lesson from this whole thing. Um, I do have to preface that I'm definitely not a trainer. I'm definitely not a fitness guru. Um, so if none of the things that I did worked or if none of the advice that I um, might have outlined in any of the videos in the past doesn't or didn't work for you, um, that's completely fine because the whole point of this was to just um, record my experience and what I did and what worked for me and what even didn't work for me. This is my results of this whole past year and thank you for joining me. Um, I definitely look forward to this next year. Um, yeah, I can't wait for more things to come. So again, I thank you and I'll see you next time.